Hi, my name is Francis. I am so excited to introduce you to Publitio. Publitio is an online access management system that hosts your videos, hosts your video file. Not only does that, you could actually generate revenue from it. It allows you to add in ads. It could allow you to add in your watermarks. It allows you to change the extension, resize it just via browser, via URL. It is excellent. It's packed filled with features. So let's get started. I'm on the main page of Publitio. And as you can see here, there's a little shortcut uh, green bar where you could upload your file, you could create your player, create your ad tag, and even create your watermark. I like to go straight into the dashboard. Once you enter your dashboard, you will see what your plan is. For me, I have 100 gigabyte, um, 500 gigabyte bandwidth per month. And what's great is that you could download the SDK which I've already done is I've downloaded for WordPress the API key that's providing email and I could connect uh, a Publitio to WordPress. This way I could host my videos on here and embed the code onto WordPress. It saves my storage space. My media file right here you could create your new folder if you want to organize it by let's say all videos you create a photo video your personal actually uh, upload the file directly into the root and I'll do one as an example. So I'm gonna up upload that and I could set my file to private or to public. I'm gonna set it to private and it tells you 17 KB. So let me start the upload. I could copy the URL, I could open a new tab and I could view it, I could rename it, delete it. I have more options of um, edit, download, embedded code. I'm gonna copy my URL and show you how I could change the file extension in here and as you can see it's a JPEG depending on your need I can simply go right here and change it to PNG right through the URL I have a PNG version how awesome is that I can also change my um, my height and my width right through the URL and there's detailed documentations once you sign up they'll send you to tell you how you could do it and if you even get lost after you subscribe to their YouTube website it has very detailed videos on different um, things you could do and I'm going to go over a little bit of it right now as well so if you go over here you could actually let's say you could edit it and let's say if I want to change the ID to a different name I could change the title add description photo of myself tags I think it's important to um, because you could group all your photos once you get all these files all these videos it's great for the future you could find it by your tag. And here I've talked about setting it to private to public, URL based transformation. Do you want to be able to edit it via URL? Like I showed you, you could change the PNG, JPEG, GIF, change your file size right directly on there. You can turn on and off these options and then simply hit upload. And this is such a wonderful thing is that you could also add your watermark onto it. And let me show you how to create your watermark. You simply go into the watermark, and I've had one already here, and create watermark, choose your file, and let's say I choose my logo, and I could simply put it in the left and right, so anytime I have an image or a video, it could be in that place. What I would, what I would suggest is that make it a transparent image and not so big. Right now I haven't edited this down, make it small, so it can fit any uh, image, any videos. And right here, you could have, you could create your player, you could customize it. You could choose orange, blue. Autoplay is awesome. If you work with federal websites, they're one of the requirements is that users need to be in control. They don't want anything to automatically play. So this is awesome. If I was developing or embedding the code for the federal, I would choose off. But if I was gonna do for my personal site, then I probably would choose mouse over to be a little cool. And I have um, control bar, the small, or you want a nice quality mute. This is just filled with features that you could be able to control on your, let's go to the ad tab, ads. So you could create the ads. And this is a very simple program to use. As you can see, everything has information, your unique name of your ad, your URL, you just hover over and it's very helpful, very simple, uh, very simple navigation right here. And 
And I'll show you how you could also connect it into your WordPress. And I've already connected the, the API with it. So I'm going to select new, add new, and click on this plus sign. And there it is. Um, Publitio is right here after I installed the plugin and I connect to my API key. Simply do that and then click select. And here's my media library. I could connect to my picture. Dot three dots and I click on insert source set. There, voila, there I am. Look how easy. And I can put my videos on there. If I put my videos, all these are hosted on um, Publitio. They also have something called change name where if you have your own domain, like let's say if I have like some say.com, have instead of it, having the URL Plutio to share it, it will say some say and have the image name. So I think that's really, really awesome. Let's talk about pricing for this. If you want to just start out and just, you know, get your feet wet and test out this software, I, I uh, recommend the free starter, which is uh, 10 gigs and 20 gigabyte monthly bandwidth um, with only one player, one ad tag and one watermark. The developer is, I think, very reasonably priced for $29 a month. You get 50 gigabyte, 200 uh, gigabyte monthly bandwidth, and it increases to five, five, five watermarks, ad tags. And if you go to the hacker, which is uh, $79 a month, that's 100 gigabyte storage with 500 gigabyte of uh, bandwidth, and then 10 players, 10 ad tags, and 10 watermarks. And with an investment of $149 a month, you get unlimited players, unlimited ad tags, unlimited watermarks. So depending on what you're going to do, uh, I think it's well worth the investment. Number one, you could add all your watermarks into your videos. I have a graphic background. I use Photoshop um, and I used to do the very old school way where I would batch process, add my watermark on to every video. I have to open up Photoshop. Sometimes that takes forever. And I think this is great. This will help me keep organized. Not only it saves me money, saves me time. I can straight add in my watermark once and then add into all my videos, add into all my images. And the wonderful thing is it has its hosting, its own hosting. It hosts all my uh, videos, all my images. I would look professional sharing it to, let's say, a client and say, here's my video. And I could have the privacy to public. I could share it to a group B. I I could have it to private. So it it's awesome to me. I think that it's a time saver and the ability to even create a PNG right off a URL is a time saver as a graphic person. What I would normally do is I would have to go to Photoshop. I would have to export the file as PNG. I have to export. All these controls are within Publitio, which I think is wonderful use of the technology. I highly, highly recommend this. Uh, application. Let me know what you think. I always love to hear from you. Um, let me know if you give it a try and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for uh, hopefully you're subscribed. Have a great week. Thank you.